In this tutorial for ring number two, we're going to illustrate how to use templates in ProtoWizard. So we're going to go ahead and say we have a three-sided ring. We're going to select our file. And now as with most rings, we're going to go ahead and insert the core and supports. Once again, one of the primary new features of ProtoWizard is the ability now to recognize the parallel boundary around the, the parts themselves. So that way we cut down on the machining time by staying as close to the part as we can. We'll go ahead and accept all the default parameters. Now normally we would go into the operation functions here and we begin to select these operations and build the, the, the pass that we want to do on this particular part. But what we're going to do in this example is we're going to go ahead and use a template. Now the templates that we have out here are two-sided flip, three-sided ring, a four-sided flip, a class ring. We're going to go ahead and choose the three-sided ring template. Now if you look at the description here, it says we have a flip with a full rotary. We have uh, the 5,000's 15 degree conical tools. We're going to do a flip rough and a flip radial. We're also going to do a plus or minus 70 degree rotary before we do a full rotary. So let's go ahead and select this template. Now if you notice, all the operations immediately just popped in here. We don't have to do anything. We can go right through and start running them. Or if you would like to go ahead and pull down the uh, descriptions and just double check and see what these are, you can see, okay, we have a spiral pyramid tool. It's a 5,000th tip with a 15 degree with a cut depth set uh, at uh, the uh, 0.59 inches or about 15 millimeters deep. You can look at the parameters of this operation and see what all the, the various components are, type of uh, cutting directions that we're going, and so on. Okay. If you wanted to change any of these, you can edit them right now. Or in our case, we're going to go ahead and simply select Calculate. Okay, now that the calculation is completed, let's go ahead and look at our toolpath. Our multi-sided toolpath, the very first initial one, was our roughing passes. Notice that we went all the way out to the parallel boundaries of the part, make it as small as possible. The next set of passes were the radial cuts. These are our finishing cuts. Now notice that the finishing cuts are only going to the edge of the part and stopping. This is because the rest of the material has been roughed out and the, and the, the other part of the material will come out when we do the rotary. So this is a new optimized feature inside our ProtoWizard just to cut to just the edge. Now let's look at our partial rotary. Notice that the partial rotary toolpath actually has a couple different levels. This is because the depth of cut was set up so that it was going to cut this in two passes. Also you can notice that the toolpath itself has uh, the roughing passes are actually much wider than the finishing passes. This is because fast roughing was turned on, which will divide up the passes that are taken so that the uh, initial roughing passes are done in one third of the time. And then the final pass will actually cut to the edges of the part and be at the very fine cut. And then finally we have our rotary cuts. The rotary tool passes were set up to just cut to the edge. Now this edge of this part has a bevel, so it is cutting out to the bevel edge, which you can see the rest of the toolpath along the top edges are cutting right up to the edge. Nice finish cut down inside these holes. The bezels look real good. And as always with, with ProtoWizard, you would just go to the Generate tab, not the toolpath have been calculated. You have a Generate tab up at the top. And go ahead and generate your toolpath.